Hey guys, and welcome back to Crudence for Sale. We're in Chapter 5, Dragon. Uh, we've got two tal uh, talismans so far. Uh, picking up pretty much where we left off the last time we played this. Uh, so it should pretty much continue on. I don't really remember what we did in that episode because it's been a bit, but I have looked up uh, a walkthrough in the meantime. So I plan on just running through, finishing off uh, the last couple of endings. Uh, that we can quickly grab and then pretty much dusting our hands with this game and moving on to other things so enjoy the video and drop it a like subscribe all of that right. so to get the next talisman we need going through door two and these two pharaoh dudes in the middle they're going to offer us a safe with a code and supposedly the way you get the four words uh, that unlock this safe are uh, by finding the actual doomsday devices in two of the previous chapters and in each of those there's uh, two words like two keys basically that you gotta find both to to be able to unlock this so yeah I don't think I'd even found one of them in any of my past playthroughs so the walkthrough came in handy. I can't imagine how long I would have smacked my head against a brick wall trying to figure this out. Yeah. Doesn't even, uh, like, really make sense or correlate with anything else in this game that I can see so far. I'm probably just dumb though, so. Boss. That should give us the third talisman. And we'll forget the fourth one. Something to do with like a spider's legs and drawing and there was like a big alchemy? No, it, I think it's alchemy. But like a big chart with like a dude on it and lots of symbols and I think we've got to put our talismans in there once we've collected all of them. But on that board, there's, I guess, the answer to this spider leg thing. Alright, let's try this. Alright, there was definitely that. And there was definitely that. Oh, maybe I was doing that wrong. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's all just pretend I'm not an idiot. That'd be great. Moving on. And there's our final talisman. So, cool. Now we can stick them into this alchemy, anatomy, whatever the, whatever kind of thing it is. Alright, insert the second talent. Insert the first, insert the fourth, and insert the third. As Lud would say, boys, boys. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. I think we finished it now. But considering we've been probably not even 10 minutes worth of footage in. Cool. been a couple weeks since I started this game so it feels nice to actually get it done
Geiger. Greetings, future disciple. I don't know who this Geiger guy is, but I'm pretty sure this is the Death Grips guy that ended up taking the black pill and carrying out Satan's work. I think that's what it said about him. Righto. We are kinsmen, and you are from our kinship. We, will, uh, we come to you on this blessed day with a prophecy. In time, you will join the three of us in our infinite power and knowledge. Four hands ruling over the universe, abiding by the will and destiny of evil. Pharaoh to my left, Mustafa to my right, myself, and you, the chosen fourth member of PSG Ultima. Ultima. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that before. I think that was mentioned in a previous uh, playthrough, but I don't understand. I thought it was about Paradise Architects and Noid Men, and I remember like doubting whether I even had them on like the right side of good and evil, or if it was the other way around. And now these guys are here. They a mixture of the Paradise Architects and the Noid Men. Did they like fuse together, join sides? These are new. No, because the Noidmen are affiliated with these guys, so I don't understand. But I'm sure I'll spend some time searching through the lore of this online if there is any, and figuring it all out. And if I find like a concrete story in there somewhere, then I'll probably make a video just uh, to quickly run through it after dedicating. Uh, it's been like five or six different episodes to this now. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know who the Pharaoh is. Yeah, the guy guy, I don't know who they are. Unless I do and I've just forgotten, but I don't think I do. We've seen this character before. I don't think we've seen this character before, but I honestly can't remember. Oh, I haven't been reading it. My apologies. Now wake up. We will meet again. And then like that guy that was on the roof with like a sheet over his head just frozen staring up into the air. Was that Michael Jackson? And he was like being punished for escaping the fire. I don't know, something like that. There's so many elements to this whole like world that they've built and all the lore that surrounds it. I'm very lost. The time in, Reun in Reincarnation Palace proved to be effortless, for your future disciples have interfered with the palace's inner workings. In any case, you have traversed it, and you have now been granted a new life. Unbeknown to you, however, at the age of 23, you, again, uh, you will again come in contact with PSG Ultima, and your long-awaited metamorphosis will begin. Doesn't look like a good thing. It should not come uh, to you as a surprise. You are not a normal being. Your destiny is tied to the final act of the universe. Nosferatu of the East, Winds of Darkness. Your role in the Divine Play is a crucial one. Nosferatu of the East, Wings of Darkness. Sounds very cool, but I don't get any connection to any of the past chapters. There are theories out there that, like within reincarnation, that every person alive is the same soul reliving all of space-time, basically. Every consciousness, every being, uh, and not that this is one that I believe, but I've just heard this, um, and that at the death of every person, that soul returns to some higher plane 
and for a brief moment remembers what it is and it, it retains everything that it's experienced and learned in that lifetime and absorbs it into its higher being self and then it starts again and it goes off and it's another person and um you know after billions and trillions of of lives lived and experiences had then these higher beings are finally ready to hit puberty i guess and like become the higher beings that they are in maturity once that they uh they've and you know people theorize that that's what we are and that maybe the whole human experience is just a uh, spiritual one leading to some higher plane of existence where we are much more than what we think we are here I don't know. very religious and spiritual getting into but maybe that's something that's going on here maybe all of the different characters that we've played as through each playthrough uh you know at the end of their cycle come back into this one soul that has been waiting and waiting you know all of these loops to get to this point where he's nosferatu or the east wings of darkness and the prophecy of psg ultima and you know them being at the point that they are now is now complete i don't know i don't know i don't get it i'm just grasping your straws here and trying to create something cool out of what otherwise has left me a bit confused so either way continuing on uh but that is a story for another time for another year i think that's it damn it well i hope everyone's enjoyed the series on critters for sale i know there are a couple endings that I still haven't got yet. Um, I guess we'll see. You guys don't say anything. I wasn't bothered going back for them. If you guys see a video at some point with all endings attained, um, slash story rundown, then it'll be a thing. But otherwise, uh, I hope everyone's been enjoying their time and. Yeah, I don't know. This whole game has been very cool. From the graphic style and the music and... Yeah, the different endings, the story itself. Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been a fun experience. So, thank you everyone for joining me on this journey. And coming along for the ride. Uh, hope you all take care. Peace.